How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. Today I want to get into a couple things and I'll probably re probably be recording two episodes in the same sitting, two or three episodes. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to make the advanced nano chest plate because this jetpack doesn't hold that much charge and I'd like to upgrade and have some armor on my chest. So the advanced nano chest plate will let us do that. It'll also give us some power capacity to start using the mining drill that I've made. The other thing I want to do is if you notice, I have my Apiaris backpack in my inventory. That is in the wrong mode. Apiaris backpack in my inventory, which is just a backpack that can hold 125 bees. And I have my Bealizer. The reason for that is because I was informed on my stream last night about the different kinds of comb that you can get with the extra bees mod. One of those being Platinum Comb. What Platinum Comb does is you can put it in a centrifuge and get tiny piles of platinum dust. That's awesome because every eight platinum I get, or every nine platinum I get, is one iridium. So if we can get platinum bees, we'll be able to make enough iridium to start getting into the higher tier stuff. So um, that is a very long process, and it involves getting a valuable bee, which is... Uh, I have it written down. It's quite a long chain of bees, but I have success. I have succeeded in breeding um, some bees, and you may wonder why they're in the village. Um, if you people remember, I found these oblivion frames. Well, I, did, I forgot what they did. What the oblivion frames do is they decrease the life cycle of a bee to one cycle. So once one cycle passes, the bees go around and change whatever they were changing but um slowest worker elongated life slowest worker elongated life fast worker shorter life okay and uh what that does is it lets you breed bees very quickly because they only take uh one cycle so oh yeah but yeah the reason i moved it to the village is because every time they get used it takes uh it uses Vs and it generates, uh, is it Aura? Or it uses whatever the bad stuff is in Thaumcraft, it makes that. So I didn't want that near my house. And these are resilient drones, which are the drones that uh, turn into the different Orbeez, the, di the different tier 1 Orbeez. Mixing a resilient with a diligent gives you a random Orby from the tier 1 variety. See, look, they're already finished and I just put them in there. So. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just isolating the shorter life fast worker. See how they have multiple traits. See elongated shorter? I don't want that. I want one that has sh the same. Yeah. So this bee will only be able to make fast worker shorter life bees. So we can actually take this oblivion frame out. And uh, I'll leave it in there just for one more go. But these guys are just doing their thing. <clears throat> and you'll notice I have a thousand million bees. That's because I've been at this for a while. It probably took me three hours to get everything where I wanted it and get everything working properly. But that's besides the point. Um, actually, no, it's not. It's it's pretty pretty relevant. Um, I'm going to be making the extra bees machines, like the gene pool, the inoculator, the splicer, the replicator, all that good stuff. And that turns our bees into liquid DNA. But I got sidetracked, so let's go ahead and construct the advanced nano chest plate. It's pretty easy. Um, first, we want to make the advanced electric jetpack that uses our jetpack, an advanced lap pack, uh, some engine boosters, all this good stuff. So first, let's make the advanced lap pack. But for that, we need the lap pack. And for that, we need the bat pack. So first things first. Bat pack. Copper wire. I have enough for this. Let's get some tin. I'll need six batteries. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll need some more copper cable. As you can see, my quarry has been quite successful. I have almost a thousand copper now. So I feel a lot more comfortable about making all these circuits. Doesn't bother me. I'll just go ahead and boom, make a stack. Okay, so we need the advanced circuit. I mean the, the regular circuit, 
which is refined iron and some redstone. I'm sure I'll need more of these. Do I have any in here? No, so let's just make... Oh, man. Let's make five of those. I'm sure we'll use them. And then I need... Bat pack. And just one piece of tin, so that's pretty easy. So put this here. Put the batteries like this. And then get our piece of tin. Bad pack. Boom. Next is the lap pack. That's just an advanced circuit, some lapis lazuli blocks, and a bat pack. Pretty easy. Nothing too expensive. Let's go ahead and make two of these because I'm sure I'll need them. There we go. Lapis lazuli blocks I don't have, so I'll have to take some of this stuff, some lapis lazuli, and go throw it in the compressor. Which is funny because I had I had a few lapis lazuli blocks originally, but I, I macerated them down. Let's put this in here. I may need more. I don't remember. Was it nine per? So this should give me five. Five blocks, I think. Yeah, it looks like nine. So I'll need a little bit more lapis. Did I put any? Let's see. Nope, no lapis lazuli blocks. There's two, and we'll need six. <laughs> okay, and then that will go into the advanced lap pack, I think. Yeah, it takes an advanced lap pack, which is just another advanced circuit, and a lapatron crystal, which is just an energy crystal, two circuits, and some lapis. So that's all pretty easy. Nothing too complicated. <clears throat> oh, that's six. So we actually don't need that last bit. Let's put that up. Go back upstairs. Bam, 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 bam. Lap pack. Now we need an energy crystal. And someone reminded me that you can make uh, energy crystals with rubies instead of diamonds, which is nice because rubies aren't as useful as diamonds. There we go. And is it just it's like this? Yeah, there we go. Lapatron crystal. There we go. Advanced lap pack. Awesome. <clears throat> so now we have the advanced lap pack and we have the jet pack. Now we need the two carbon plates I have in my bag. Right here, I have a bunch of those from when I was going to make solar panels. Then I need these engine boosters, which are actually hard to make. Not hard, but they're, they're involved. I'll need six advanced alloy, which will take refined iron plate... So three, six refined iron, six bronze, and six tin. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go put these in the rolling machine. Or plate bending machine, excuse me. It shouldn't take long. Greg Tech and his arbitrary steps. Uh, what else do we need for this? We'll need overclocker upgrades, advanced heat vents. The heat vents, what's this? Okay, so refined iron. We'll need some more refined iron, so let's go cook that. Iron. Oh, I have some refined iron plates right there, so that's good. There we go. So I need two of these, which is just four and fences. That's pretty easy. One, two, three, four. Where are my iron fences? I know I have some. There we go. So that's not right. Why is that? Oops. Why is this not right? 
Oh, it's aluminum plates. That's why. Not refined iron plates. I don't have aluminum plates, I don't think. So we're just going to do this. Iron. One, two, three, four. And I'll need two for each of them. So I'll need three more of these. Again, not hard, just involved. Oops. There we go. And they don't stack, of course. That would be much too easy. Okay, so now we have two, and then we just need a diamond and some more iron fence. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam, bam. A diamond in the middle. Oh, wait. Did I just need one of those? No, no I needed two. I was right. Okay, one and two. Also, don't stack. So now we just need <clears throat> our overclocker upgrades, which are pretty easy to make. They just take a lot of tin. Let's go roll these last bits of tin. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we can make our advanced alloy. And five and six. So it's like this, I believe. There's our six mixed metal ingots. Throw those back in the compressor. <clears throat> and now let's make, what was it? It was the overclocker upgrades. So I'll need three cells. Actually, I think you can use water bottles. Yep, sure can. There's three, I need three more. There we go. Let's go fill these up with water. There we go. And throw these in the ME system. Get some tin. There we go. Now we need two more circuits, and it's raining. Wait, oops. One, two. Let me turn off particles. Oh, well, don't know how to do that in any eye, so we're just going to have to turn down the sound so the rain isn't too loud. Actually, I'll just turn it down in editing. So, boom. Copper cable like this. Overclocker upgrade. Overclocker upgrade. Bam. And I think that's everything. I need to go get the advanced alloy, or mixed metal ingots, or whatever they are. Advanced alloy. Oh, and I missed the stairs. Let's do do do. Okay. One, two, three, then two. So I need four more advanced circuits. So let's get some copper and some rubber. Make a bunch more of those. Grab the refined iron out of here. One, two. And now we just need to upgrade these to advanced circuits. Wait, do I need two or four? 
I need four. So. go. Redstone in the corners. Lapis on the sides. And glowstone on the top. One, two, three, four. And that'll be like that. This will be here. That will be there. That goes there. That goes there. And there's our two thrusters. Awesome. Bam! Engine boosters. See, not hard to make. Ugh, one more advanced circuit. Damn it. I should have wrote down... I should have written down how much I needed, but... It's okay. One, two. Redstone. I need my jetpack. And these. And here. And two glass fiber cable, which I have in my bag. Oops. Da 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 da! We did it. Now let's go charge it up. And now we should be able to power all our fancy tools and not have to worry. Oops, I didn't make it down the hole. Bam. It's going to take a while to charge. This can hold a million EU. This can hold more EU than my MFE. Wow. It's pretty crazy. It's charging pretty quick, though. I may have to move it to another MFE. Yeah, probably so. Wow. That's a lot of juice that this thing is taking. Well, drained that one. God, it takes so much power. Holy shit. Well, making more titanium over here. And... Bam! Fully charged. Now this one should be able to fly for much longer without having to recharge. How do I turn it on? Damn it. I don't know how to turn on this jetpack. Let's see. Oh wow. Oh, so you turn it on. That's cool. I like that I can turn it on and off. How much energy is it draining? Wow, that uses no power. This is incredible. Woo! Let me change... the flight control button. There we go. I don't need flight control for what I'm using. I don't like that my power suit overlaps my advanced electric jetpack. If anyone knows how to change that, you should totally let me know. Hmm. But that's besides the point. I really wish it would stop raining. Hey there, guys. This will be a cut. Um, I'm actually just scatterbrained and forgot that I was building this into a... What you call it? Advanced nano chest plate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. It's super easy. Nano, nano suit body armor is just energy crystal and some carbon plates. So if we take this redstone like this, slap a ruby in there. There's our energy crystal. The carbon plates I have already. There we go. There's the nano suit body armor. Advanced circuit, just like this. 
and then it was carbon plates and glass fiber cable. There we go. Now I have body armor. Bam. Sorry about that, guys. Scatterbrained. What can I say? Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Let's get started on what I wanted to do next, and we'll definitely not finish this episode, but we can start, and that is the gene pool. This is what's going to break down our bees, I think. Let me double check that. Yeah, the gene pool creates the liquid DNA that we'll need to specialize our bees. So it's pretty simple to make. The genetic machine, also easy to make. Um, I'll have to... What's this? Carpenter? Yeah, that's easy. The genetic machine is made by the apiarist machine, which is made by the sturdy casing. Okay, so these are all pretty easy recipes. It's just sturdy casing, surrounded by copper and redstone. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's get started on that. Copper. I will need eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Some copper on the sides. And some redstone. There we go. Apiarist machine. Now we'll have to... Make the basic circuit board, which is just redstone and tin, with some water in here. So there's some water. I was making some uh, some sticks. Let's put some water in here. And then we want redstone and tin. There we go. Pump one of these out real quick. Shouldn't take too long. And then last but not least, throw it all together. Lapis and iron. Oops. There's our genetic machine. And finally, the gene pool, which is not hard to make at all. Just need some glass. That I don't have any. So I'll have to cook some sand. Which I have plenty of. There we go. But until that finishes, I can make... Put the rest of it in there. No, I can't. So I have to wait for that glass to finish. And then we should be good to go. What is this, just four? Okay, it's eight glass a piece. Surprised I don't have any glass. Hmm. Oh. Let's see if this works. I like to try random minium stone recipes, even though they usually don't work. Oh. There we go. Perfect. So let's make our glass. One, two. Is it just two or is it four? It's four. Bam, bam. Get the glass. Get our genetic machine. Our gold. And our redstone. Boom! Gene pool. Now, I don't know how to use this machine, but from my understanding, you pump bees into it. You put bees in here, and it gives you uh, liquid DNA. Let's make sure I don't have to... Okay, so I think I just break it. Yeah, okay, you just break it. We're going to have to make, basically, a bee laboratory. Um, actually, that would probably be really good to go under our bee house. Let's go check it out over there and see if we can clear out some space. God, it's still raining. Just a sec, guys. I'm just gonna do that. Because I'm tired of it raining.
All right, guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to turning on my jetpack. Actually, I don't have to turn it off. I can just leave it on, honestly. But it's cool that I can turn it off. So let's go. All my bees are still doing fine. I built a bunch more apiaries. As you saw, there's three here. There's four in the village. There's one in a, a redwood forest because I needed a damp biome for the marshy bees. And then I ended up not actually needing marshy bees. It was a, it was a pain. But let's now that we can use our fancy drill, let's do this. And not waste our fortune two pick on breaking cobblestone. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the oops, keep the the bee stuff underneath the beehive, just because it makes the most sense. I mean, we're underneath the the hives already. The bees don't have to go anywhere, and I can just slap an apiarist pipe on the end of this chain and filter out all the drones because I don't need drones. I have plenty. There we go. I feel four uranium. All right. And I think I'm going to make a railcraft tank instead of a Zycraft tank just because I think the railcraft tanks look cooler. So go now actually hmm I don't know if the gene pool runs off of EU or MJ hmm it probably runs off of MJ in which case I'm gonna have to make some redstone energy conduit and run it out here it may just be in our best interest to leave the uh, leave the bee machines in the house and handle all, all our business there simply because getting MJ all the way over there is silly. Eh, it's not that far. I guess we could do it, but it kind of seems counterproductive. We could just continue to expand the house along this way. Actually, why don't we expand it this way? Where's the ground right here? This is level 64. Let's see. This is level 59, 60, 61, 62. So we've got two blocks of space underneath here. We could probably just shove it right here. Like bust this wall out. Oh shit. Well, that's what happens when you dig a hole without thinking. Crap. I got water all over the place. One sec, guys. Well, there goes my watering hole. Got my stuff all wet. But yeah, this will work. We can just put it right here. We can sink a railcraft tank into the ground. And that should give us plenty of uh, space to work in. But that'll have to be for next episode because I'm coming on 30 minutes. And I don't like to go much longer than that. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Aaron, and I'll see you next time.